foreign nations. And you know, it's it. Jack Cool says, "How can I go about dialectically challenging a Zionist Christian?" Well, it depends on what what it is that they're talking about. Um, you know, people say, uh, "Well." Uh, Israel is, you know, the Israelis are not the real Israel of the Bible, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I don't know. It seems to me that the, you know, if you take a a, a premillennial uh, perspective, the fact that Israel was reestablished after two thousand years does seem pretty miraculous. On the other hand, <laughs> if you take that view. It's pretty obvious that uh, those folks are going to rebuild the temple and then then start worshiping the Antichrist. So, um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of not just confusion. I mean, of course, we don't understand. How can we understand the future, even if it's prophecy? But more importantly. Um, how does it make sense to claim that uh, Christians should be supporting the worship of the Antichrist? I mean, you can't immanentize the eschaton. Now, I don't believe that most intelligent or even unintelligent Christians think that they're bringing about the end times by helping fly Jews to Israel. I think, I mean, that sounds, I'm sure there probably are some actual Christians who believe that, but that to me sounds like a media caricature of a Christianity that doesn't exact, doesn't actually exist. I mean, yes, you know, I grew up in a Baptist church that used to fly uh, what they called the Christian flag, the United States flag, and the Israeli flag. You know, I mean, literally up on the platform, there were those three flags. The Christian flag was this, this white flag. It was it was designed kind of like the United States flag with the with the blue, you know, corner. The rest of it was white, and then there was a, uh, I think it was a yellow cross. A red or yellow cross. I think there's a red cross actually in the blue section. It was not a particularly attractive flag, but um, you know, so they were pretty Zionistic in that way. But they never said, "Oh, you know, we need to we need to do this in order to make the make Jesus come back sooner." It was ridiculous. You know, the the Bible says that no man knows the hour. So, um, yeah, Rob is correct. Ask Orthodox rabbis, they will tell you there's a reason they say Israel is not a legitimate nation and don't support them. Yeah, there, there's all kinds of 